long to take it out in front of y'all, but I left two in the front here. And what I did is I also did another twist on a, a classic that we all know and love is the pin curl. Um, so what I did is I did a braid, a little bit of a back combed braid in the interior, and then wrapped it around my fingers like a classic pin curl. And let me just show you with my flat iron here. If you can't do a wet set, um, pressing it with a flat iron is second best for sure, because it gets nice and hot. So then you hit it flat to the head and you press it nicely with your flat iron here. And then you pull it out, you let it cool down of course, because we all know pulling down your shapes is the most important part. You're really getting some nice hold. Another reason why she has such great hold is because I put about a whole can of full frame 07 in her hair. Do you guys love full frame? That's also a classic that will never go away and I'm, so, I'm always so excited to talk about it because you can layer it so well on the hair. Another thing I, I you know, advise for you guys, really push your products as far as you, as you can because then you know how far you can push the memory. Always start on wet hair because it dilutes it down a little bit, comb it through really well, blast it with some heat, and it gives you great memory. Hi guys. Hi. What do you think of uh, Emily and Kelsey? Well, I think they make some really amazing points, like in the ponytail. We're all like riveted backstage, Emily, with like the ponytail. You know, it seems so easy, but Fashion Week is chasing the perfect ponytail. It's, true. it's the hardest thing to do, honestly. So the foundation of haircut and in your ponytail is, is rocking. So you're welcome. Uh, these two gals have something in common in terms of color. And that is what's um, sort of taking the lead from fashion with texture in clothing. You know, we see it in Marc Jacobs, we see it in Prada, we see it in the back of Michigan. I thought we say it wrong. Badgley? Badgley? Badgley, yeah. <laughs> I always say it wrong. Um, you false teeth, put your false teeth. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there's uh, wisps of different color and there's lots of texture to it. So taking the lead on, and you can see the way the girls are dressed, you know, it's mixing different sort of patterns and textures, even what Kelsey's wearing and what Emily's wearing, just mixing it up a bit. So in terms of hair color on these gals, it's creating more depth at the root area, lighter pieces, and then really lighter pieces through the rest. And Marlene, step forward just for a second and spin around, and maybe we can get a little bit of a conversation about style, what happens there. So I wanted to show you guys the biggest, baddest French twist. So what I did is, again, I started on Marlene with a load of Full Frame 07, my favorite product. And I also used um, Powder Grip 03 on the, every root section and back combed. Back combed her whole head in the direction of the way that I was going to shape the French twist. So, and before I tied the leather straps, it looked like she just had this big pompadour French twist. And so I also advise you go to your like trimming store and just look around and touch stuff. And it's really great to have it at your station just in case some cool girl comes in and you want to like add a little thing to it. It's great to have in your back pocket. So all I did was, you know, push down on this shape and wrapped it a few times. And it's really cool because uh, I used uh, eight, uh, 18 hairspray to really give it a nice sheen on the outside. So it's fun shape, huh? <laughs> All right, so back to that cornrow that we have. Um, so what I've done is I have this really awesome little yarn needle, also from like a trim shop. This, you can just pretty much get it anywhere. And I looped the same stretchy elastic that I was using to tie off this part of the ponytail. And now I'm just gonna thread that through the bottom of the cornrow. Now this is why I wanted my ponytail to sit at the top of the cornrow, so I would have a little space to work with here. Now I'm just going to thread that elastic right through. Cornrows are the coolest because you can really use them to anchor like just about anything to somebody's head. It's like Kelsey was saying with the things that you can get from the trim shop, if you don't know how to attach something to somebody's hair, just stick a cornrow in there. You can pretty much pin anything to a cornrow or tie anything to a cornrow for that matter. It's fantastic and it won't move. All right, so now I'm just going to tie this guy off. And another good little trick for when you don't have an extra set of hands to help you with something, just use a little, a little clip in its place. So I'm just going to clip this down. Okay. I've got my elastic in place, ready to go. And 
rather than just tying it like how you would tie your shoelace, going around one time, I'm gonna go around two times. The reason for that is because if you only go around one time, it's just gonna slide right back out on you. That way you don't need someone to put their thumb in there to hold it into place. See what happens then is you just pull really tight. See, it's already, it's already in there. I'm just gonna go around one more time just to lock it in. See, there you go. Now Very clever. What do you think? Well, transform.